They call me Dex. Fresh Dex. What? Fresh Dex. What? Dex. What? Dex. 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 Okay. They call me Dex. 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 What? I want see your ex. 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 Okay. Dex. They call me Dex. 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 Huh? They call me Dex. 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 What? Dex. What's good guys, it's your boy Fresh and Dub Dex in the flesh Back in again with another banger, banger, banger Y'all boys and girls already read a title of this video Today's video, we doing a dreadlock update Me, a dreadlock update video on the one and only NBA Ben 10 How about my shit first? It's on my shit What's your other page? Yeah, how about my shit? I hop on my shit. I'm saying you hop on his shit on my shit. Man, you shit on my shit. So which one you finna hop on? Three shit. Say you hop on three shit? Mm -hmm. I'm saying you hop on my shit afterwards. You're paying me on I'm saying you hop on my shit afterwards, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, you hop on my shit first, all right? What? Mm -hmm. I ain't hopping on three shit at all. Oh, 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 hey. Yeah. Hey, you should hop on my shit. <laughs> 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 all right guys so when i last left off on nba ben 10's dreadlock journey we discussed that he had thin dreadlocks um small parting system really small parts traditional set of dreadlocks and he might have started off with the comb coil method to start off his dreadlock journey so he started off his dreadlock journey very traditional. But anyways, his length wise was within the awkward stages of his dreadlock journey because it wasn't too long and it wasn't too short. It was just about coming to his eyes, like as you see in this video clip right here. And from time to time, he always wore some type of dreadlock jewelry in the front of his dreadlocks. Um, but overall, he had a unique set of dreadlocks, um, giving off a similar look to NBA Youngboy's um, dreadlocks, but his dreadlocks look a little more maintenance to NBA Youngboy's dreadlocks. And a lot of his dreadlocks, is, you know, it's not too much of a variation or anything going on, you know what I'm saying? That's how you can tell that he started off his dreadlock journey, very traditional. Uh, besides, like, if you compare the difference between NBA Youngboys and um, NBA Ben 10's dreadlocks, the only difference you'll see is NBA Youngboys dreadlocks look a little more freeform than anything else, but he transitioned to traditional now, but you can still see the freeform patterns at the same time, if that makes sense. But uh, NBA Ben 10's dreadlocks, uh, still appear to be very traditional, very organized, and it's not a lot of new growth going on on the top of his head because he likes to keep his hair really neat. Uh, but now NBA Youngboy likes to keep his hair very neat too, but a lot of NBA Youngboy's dreadlocks have way more uh, variation to it because some of his dreadlocks appear to look very, very thin. And some of his dreadlocks appear to be a little thicker than the other dreadlocks, if that makes sense. All right, guys. So this is how my boy NBA Ben 10 dreadlocks are looking now. Currently, as you guys can see, he gained a lot of length over the years. I'm pretty sure he's like at least one or two years within the dreadlock journey. Um, I believe he like got out of jail or something. And then that's when everyone seen the length. But for some odd reason, he's not taking too many photos and putting it on Instagram. So only thing I can show you guys um, for us to talk about is the lives that he be on. It's the only thing that I can see. I can get the dreadlock update on how his hair is looking currently. But as you guys can see, his dreadlocks appear to look very healthy. It's still on the skinny side. And um, it looks like he's slowing down on the retwist because... His scalp doesn't look as maintained as it used to look when he was getting retwisted all the time when his hair was a lot shorter. 
So maybe he's trying to lay off on getting so much retwist now. But his length is crazy, bro. Like, it goes all the way to his lip at this point. So he's been doing a great job uh, taking care of his hair because his hair still seems to look very healthy. Like I was saying once before, there's not a lot of scarring or tearing going on in any shape or form. A lot of his dreadlocks look very similar to each other. Um, a lot of the tips of his dreadlocks are very um, blunted and his hair is looking pretty mature too at the same time. And he hasn't got into any uh, bleaching or anything else, to be honest with you guys. But um, to get your hair to look similar to NBA Ben 10 is not really that hard because he went the traditional route of getting his dreadlocks to look the way it looks now, currently. All you have to do is get comb coils and make sure you get really small parts so your dreadlocks can end up looking as skinny as his dreadlocks are looking and just allow the natural process to do its thing or you can speed up the process by using the crochet needle but the choice is up to you at the end of the day you're just going to have different results um, if you use the crochet method compared to the traditional route because the crochet method you literally shaping the locks in a particular form that you will be suited to in traditional you know Whatever life takes you with your hair is that's how your hair is going to look because some people end up with their dreadlocks not even correctly blunted at the tips of it. And that's what happened naturally because they didn't crochet the tips of their dreadlocks to make it look more blunted. Besides that, guys, NBA Benton is not doing anything particularly interesting to his hair. His hair still appears to look very similar to how his hair looked before when I once reviewed his dreadlocks. He just got longer. But I do see a little bit of Congos. That's the only thing I can see uh, within a lot of his dreadlocks. Just looking at these video clips you guys are looking at currently. So I found that to be very interesting. It turns out if you have Congos within your dreadlocks, bro, it, it's overall going to make your roots stronger. So make sure you note that throughout your dreadlock journey, guys. So do not be afraid to Congo some of your dreadlocks, even if you go in the traditional route. Uh, but anyways, other than that, my boy NBA Ben 10 has some dope dreadlocks, healthy dreadlocks, and he's on the correct path to um, a long him. journey. You know what I'm saying? If he doesn't trim his dreadlocks like a lot of other rappers do nowadays, and you guys already know, that it's really simple to get your dreadlocks to look similar to NBA Ben 10. It's less complicated than how to get your dreadlocks to look similar to NBA Youngboy. So that being said, make sure you get a taper throughout the journey and then you can get any type of versatile freeform dreadlocks and it's going to look dope overall because you have a clean cut on the sides of your head. You feel me? No cap. But I hope this video was very entertaining. I hope it was very useful, very helpful. Uh, that being said, it's your boy Fresh Dex in the flesh. And I'm going to see y'all again on the next banger, banger, banger. All right, I'm out. Peace. I'm the type of nigga that will fuck up sardines. Okay. No shits be delicious. What the fuck do you mean? Delicious. I'm the type of nigga need like two or three chicks Put them shits together, make them bounce on my dick I'm the type of nigga that will steal your bitch Make them come together like the perfect stitch Okay. I'm the type of nigga that do locks and twists That's why I keep a tool with the metal clips What? I'm the type of nigga that be dying and shit huh? Look at, at my hair, bitches died and shit hey. Listen.